So I noticed that it's been a while we're doing the keynote and we haven't had a demo yet. So without any delay, I want to introduce Adam Leftick, who is our VP of Product Management, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll show you the demos for agent and license management. So Adam, are you ready to do the demos? Thanks. Yeah, all right. we're all set. So I'm going to start off by showing you um, new capability. Thank you. Thank you. Scooby Snacks, Scooby, <laughs> Scooby Snacks. Snacks, yeah. <laughs> I'll take a few. Um, I'm going to start off with uh, an Enterprise IQ uh, feature mm -hmm. we're calling Universal Agent. And Universal Agent, as Bosker mentioned, is all about enabling a quicker time to deploying agent technology and upgrading and maintaining those agents. So to, to illustrate this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up with a fresh controller you can see here. There's nothing reporting in. Now, it's really, really easy to provision the universal agent. So I'm going to switch over to a shell. And I'm highlighting in this top screen here, you can see with a single command, I'm cheating a little bit, but I chain two commands together. I love command line demos, man. <laughs> Scooby Snack? Scooby Snack? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the, um, this, this command line. It's going to download our universal agent and install it with a, with a simple command. And it was really quick. Um, and now what's happening is our universal agent is connecting up to the controller, and it's actually starting to um, receive configuration from the controller runtime. Now to illustrate how easy it is to deploy our agents now, I'm going to start up my Tomcat-based application. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to switch back to a REST editor. So that's the process you want to monitor? Correct. Okay. So I have a, a out-of-the-box uh, Tomcat application that I've deployed. I haven't made any changes to the startup shell script. It's right out of the box for Catalina. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch into my favorite REST editor here. And the first thing I'm going to do is issue a, a command to extract what the universal agent was able to um, report about the host that I deployed the universal agent on. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at what we can get. So first you'll see the default out-of-the-box um, rule that we uh, ship down as part of the universal agent installation includes a machine agent that's already up and running, and it's running 4.2.4.1 in this case. But if you scroll down a little bit and you see what's coming back, there's a number of key elements that are really important to understand. First and foremost, we're able to extract rich information about what this host is running, what version of the Linux kernel it's running, what different types of um, applications that are running. So for example, it automatically discovers all my Java applications that are running and the, and the uh, Tomcat-based app that we just started up. So, so basically, just so everyone is clear, uh, what the universal agent is, is it's a package that you install on a server that you want to monitor with App Dynamics, And what it does is it discovers all the environment variables, discovers all the processes in it, reports that back to the controller, and then the controller sends a set of commands based on what you want to do and what you want to monitor. Correct. So through the REST API, I can issue configuration commands that the universal agent will pick up the next time it reports in, and then it'll execute those rules um, and provision right. the right agents. So let's do that right now. Before I go there, I want to point out another key element of this uh, universal agent technology. We're able to specify which repository of agent versions you want. So in this command here, you can see we're using download.appdynamics as the repository for pulling those agents. Mm -hmm. So does it, does it also work for, can you tell us about other repositories that it'll work with? Sure. So we're, we're continuing to invest in common package managers like NPM on Node and RPM and all those other common things you use. So if you're using Puppet and Chef orchestration today, it'll work quite well. That's correct. But you can also set up your own repositories behind the firewall if you don't want to rely on our public ones. You can more easily control which different versions of the agents you'd like to see. That's great. So let's move on to the next use case here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to issue a, a simple rule here. And let's go into the body of this uh, Rust command. And what I'm going to say here is I'm going to tell the, the controller that I want all the Java applications to deploy version 4.3.0 of the agent. So I'm going to go ahead and send this command. And I'm going to get an acknowledgment back that's going to echo what I just sent. Mm -hmm. Now what's going to happen is it's going to automatically provision the 4.3 agent onto the host and through our dynamic attach without changing any startup parameters. It will bind our agent through our naming rules and start reporting into App Dynamics. So it's really fantastic, easy to get up and running. You don't have to change any of your existing startup commands so or shell scripts. So the Tomcat process you installed, you installed the universal agent. It found it, reported it back to the controller, figured out it had to put a Java agent on top of it, on instrumenting it. And that's what you just did. And it's actually, is it reporting? 
Before we go there, I want to mm -hmm. show one more thing. Mm -hmm. It'll take a, a, a minute for the, the agent to come back. Let's go look at a, a, another use case that we're really working hard to support. As I mentioned earlier, we automatically provision the 4.2.4.1 version of the machine agent that we deployed as part of the default rule. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify here and highlight that we want to specify a new version of this, universal, uh, of this machine agent to 4.2.71 to upgrade it to the latest version. So what I'm going to do is send this REST command as well. And what's going to happen is the universal agent running on this host will get this new rule and start deploying and upgrading the, the machine agent. Mm -hmm. So let's switch back and, and see if our uh, universal agent was able to report in. And sure enough, you can see my universal agent is now reporting a new application. <laughs> Scooby Snacks, Scooby Snacks, all right. That's great. Before I go on and show um, license management, let's go back and see if we were able to actually get an upgrade of the agent. And sure enough, you can see now we're running 4.2.7.1. So really powerful, easy to get up and running universal agent. You can quickly deploy agent technologies on, our job, on your Java processes, and we're going to be expanding this to other agents as well. And of course, uh, upgrades, which is really powerful. Yeah, that's great. So, so basically, we built the APIs for it first, because you know, we talked to many of you, and you asked us to prioritize APIs. Uh, we're also building um, UI for it over time. But as Adam said, it works with the management tools and the package manager tools that you have already right now. So, so, so that's actually great. So what can you show uh, uh, us about um, license management? 